What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. You guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content. You can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is week four's reading for Sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Earth, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free your own reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your week four, December 2021's reading. And the message is, um, a Scorpio has been noticing that a very strange, peculiar vehicle has been driving by their home reoccurrently. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Scorps. It sounds like at least one of you guys in the universe, you've been noticing a very strange, peculiar reoccurring vehicle driving by your home repeatedly. So, dear God Almighty, that's a little alarming. Hopefully it's not a stalker or a creepo or a trafficker or something like that. Um, you plug it in how that resonates. Okay. Spirit messages you have a sign of Scorpio. Knight of Cups reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. A particular Pisces in a Scorpio's life is about to slam them with the divorce. It will definitely be contested. The Scorpio will be very angry. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. If that resonates for you, heard a particular, a particular Pisces. So you're dealing with Piscean energy. It can be masculine or femme Pisces. You can be masculine or femme Scorpio. You plug it in how it resonates. But some kind of Piscean energy I heard is about to slam you with the divorce. I heard it will definitely be contested and you will be pissed. So you plug it in, however that resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, not a cups reverse. This is your Piscean energy. Very ungiving, unloving, unkind towards you. And I guess they were telling you lies and telling you, oh yeah, everything's okay. We're still going to remain married. And I love you and blasey, blasey, blasey. But in reality, they probably just want the money, honey. Because they're about to flame you with a um, divorce and you don't want it. So you either want to stay in it for traditional reasons, I'm presuming, or money reasons, or cover-up reasons in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but there's no love here. I'll tell you that. There's no love here. There is no love here. So it's either traditional reasons, money reasons, or some kind of cover-up reasons um, in some shape, form, or fashion. But it sounds like the Piscean is about to do it whether you want them to or not. Um, they've been lying to you. There's no love here. Wow. Experiments to do you have sounds for you. A particular Leo feminine, young Leo feminine, finally got an abortion. You're very, very happy about this. You were very scared and thought they were going to keep it and they were going to keep it at first, but they got heavy public flack for it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorps, whoever that's for. Younger, I heard younger Leo Femme energy. So whoever you are, I'm assuming you're masculine with penis to impregnate, just saying. Um, but dealing with younger Leo Femme energy, no younger, I deem younger in the tarot is 35 or below because the gray area is 25 to 40. I cut it off at 35 per below, but you know, the person could be 36, 37, 25, 28, 34, what have you. But I cut it off at 35 per below, but you know, time and energy is fluid. So who, however this per, however old this person is to you is what I'm trying to say. I'm presuming 35 per below, but she has Leo in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid to Jupiter charts. But I heard, um, she finally got an abortion. She finally got an abortion. So I'm assuming you impregnated her. And 
you were scared because you didn't think she was going to get an abortion, but she got very heavy public flight from it. And so she finally did get it and it makes you happy. So she's in the public eye in some shape, form or fashion, but she was getting heavy public flight for it. I guess being impregnated by you. I feel for some, you could be married or you could be in the public eye or you both are, but somehow she was getting heavy public flight for being pregnant with your kid. But it makes you happy that she finally got the abortion. So you plug it in, however that resonates. The Hermit reversed, King of Wands reversed. A particular Virgo that was that is in a secretly gay relationship. Virgo masculine with the Scorpio masculine is about to cut things off in a huge way. Completely cut things off. It's going to really upset this Scorpio. And it's going to upset this Scorpio more when they find out the real reasons they're about to cut it off. It's for a feminine energy of the Scorpio's past. Oh, whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates there, Scorpio, good Lord Almighty. So if this resonates with you, it's masculine Scorpio to masculine Virgo. And I was pulling in something similar in Virgo's reading with two homosexual masculine energies. So you plug it in, how it resonates, but it's a masculine Scorpio and a masculine Virgo in this situation, secret gay homosexual relationship. So two masculine energies, one Scorpio, one Virgo, secret gay relationship so completely in the closet completely secret so completely gay but very secret but i heard the virgo masculine is about to completely cut it off um with you and it's going to piss you off um and it's going to piss you off anymore even more when you find out the real reason why they're cutting it off and i heard it's because of a feminine feminine energy of your past so they're cutting off this secretly gay relationship with you to go be with the femme energy, but it's some, the femme energy is someone of your past. So, you know, it doesn't mean you were dated this person or you, or what, or what have you. It's just somebody of your past. It could have been somebody you grew up with. It could have been a family member. It could be a uh, past friend or frenemy, past coworker, um, somebody of your past of some shape, form or fashion. And it's gonna piss you off even more when you find out that's why this Virgo masculine is cutting off the secretly gay relationship with you. For some, it's that, and for some, it's HIV. And for some, it's both. Okay, I heard for some, it's that, for some, it's HIV, and for some, it's both. So for some, it is that reason, the femme energy of your past and subject form of passion. For some, it's because of HIV, and for some, it's both of these reasons. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So this is your Virgo energy, because this is Virgo energy here. Um, you are going to feel... Um, no, so no self care, no self reflection, no going within when they do this to you. Because I feel for a lot, you're going to be um, taken by surprise. I feel you're going to be taken by surprise, which is going to cause you not to self care, self reflect, or go within um, for some. And then this is your Virgo energy, combo energy, your Virgo masculine energy. No desire, no drive, no motivation towards you. Um, because they don't want to be in this secretly gay relationship with you. I feel they want something stable, grounded, reliable in public and loving and whoever this is for i mean yeah this is sex and it's i don't judge i don't judge homosexual or heterosexual sex but this is a secret gay relationship so it's not i mean obviously it's not going to ever go public they know this and i don't feel there's love here i feel it's just strictly like primal sex urges um so i don't blame this virgo either but you plug it in how it resonates Spirit messages here, outside of Virgo. I'm mean, sorry, Scorpio. Seven of Cups reverse, strength reverse. <clears throat> A Scorpio is about to get huge clarity on someone that is on medical leave right now for some. 
and for some, someone that is in the hospital. Answers are coming. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, if this resonates for you. Um, whoever you are, you could be masculine or femme, but um, for some of you guys, if this resonates with you, you're about to get huge clarity on someone that's on medical leave right now. So you're in an employment situation and it sounds like either an employee under you or an employee equally yoked to you, how that resonates, but this employee is currently on medical leave. <clears throat> so they are on medical leave, a sub shape, form or fashion. Um, you're about to get clarity. I heard answers are coming. So this person might call the company or call you and give you clarity on their medical condition or some kind of test or lab results or what have you um, for the one that's on medical leave. And for some of you guys, it's someone that's in the hospital. Now that could be anybody related, um, connected to you. That could be a family member, a friend, a frenemy, a neighbor, a coworker, a past coworker. Um, someone in your past, anybody um, that's in the hospital. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard answers are coming. So I think answers on their medical condition um, or treatment or what have you. So you're not, you're, you're going to get clarity, confusion reversed. You're going to get clarity. Strength reversed. You might feel weak when you hear the news, or this could be the weakness of the person currently on medical leave or in the hospital. How that resonates for you. Spirit messages, you have a silent Scorpio. A particular feminine energy of a Scorpio's past is about to start living their best life. And one feminine energy connected to you of your past is about to get their children back. It's going to make them very, very, very happy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's beautiful. But this is part, somebody of your past, who this resonates with. It's somebody of your past. Um, it could be anybody, but it's somebody of your past. One of these people is about to get their kids back, I heard. So the custody could, been, could be temporarily flipped right now, possibly, or maybe they lost custody of their kids or something of that nature. But they're about to get their kids back. For some, it could just they be, be they could be visiting with visitation with the other parent, and they're about to get their kids back. But I feel for a lot of these, it's actual like custody swap or flip, or um, they had lost rights in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. Um, but I heard they're about to get their kids back. So that's beautiful energy right there uh, for some. And for some, what was the other one? Um, there was another one. Hold on. Oh, a femme energy is about to start living her best life. So it's somebody in your past is the femme energy. I heard she's going to start living her best life, her best life. So self-caring herself, maybe she's going to be working hard for the money, or she's maybe she's retired and she's going to start traveling um, and doing the damn thing, however that resonates, but some kind of living the best life energy. For some people, working and traveling is living their best life because everybody's different. So you know, it really all depends on what their best life is to them, is what I'm trying to say. But their best life, whatever that is, and how that resonates in their life. That's beautiful. Six of Swords upright, Nine of Cups upright. A particular Scorpio has been drinking way too much lately, way too much. For one of these Scorpios, it's going to end them up in the hospital soon. And they have a history of medical conditions. And a very, very, very unhappy marriage. Very. Oh my Lord, this is terrible. This is terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. Lord have mercy. This Scorpio looks very happy in public, but in reality, they are not. 
Oh, this is terrible. So if this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to, I heard the Scorpio looks very happy in public. So like if you see them out at like CVS or Walmart or McDonald's or Tzatziki's or what have you, that I'm presuming they're going to look very, very happy. So happy-go-lucky, smile on their face, um, blasey, blasey, blasey. But, you know, even the even depressed people have smiles on their face, i.e. Robin Williams, if anybody Rest in peace, Robin Williams, just saying. That man was always a light and healer to others. But he, we all know how he passed away. Just saying, just saying. So that's what the energy of the Scorpio that it reminds me of is like a Robin Williams. Out in public, they're not going to show you they're, I heard they're heavily, heavily depressed. And they're in a very toxic, unhealthy marriage. So they're not going to show you out in public that they are depressed and that they're going through a lot. But they are. It reminds me of Robin Williams, S-type energy. Um, but I heard they started drinking a lot again. They started drinking a lot again, and so much so it's probably going to end up in the hospital. They have a history of medical conditions. So I'm assuming the medical conditions will probably get exacerbated from the excessive alcoholism. Truth about, and clarity is about to come out on this. Scorpio is about to wind up in the hospital. Nine of Cups is partying too hard hard. Um, in, this, in this instance, it's too much alcohol. Um, I think for some of these Scorpios, they might have a history of, of um, excessive drinking or alcoholism, possibly, or functional alcoholism. However, that resonates in one's life. It could be a masculine or a femme Scorpio. If it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. Experiments that you have signed uh, of. A Scorpio is about to find a very, very significant text messages between a Libra and a Pisces soon. They're about to screenshot them and FTC report them. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So Piscean and Libra and energy, I heard, if this resonates with you, I heard you're about to find very significant text messages between a Libra and a um, Libra and a Pisces. So um, they can have Libra or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamon, or Jupiter charts. And for some in Gemini. Okay. So for some a Libra, some a Pisces, some a Gemini. So for some, it might be a three-way conversation in there, like a group message. For some, it just might be two of these people. But Libra, Pisces, Gemini, they could have Libra, Pisces, or Gemini, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, them and Jupiter charts, how that resonates. But I heard basically um, you're going to find either this co group conversation or two-way text, how that resonates, between the Libra, Pisces, or Gemini, two or two-plus people, masculine or femme, Libra, Pisces, or Gemini. Um, I heard you're going to screenshot them. You're going to screenshot them and FTC report it. Now, we've been getting a lot of that in the energetic space lately, a lot. So FTC report is a Federal Trade Commission report. It basically reports on scammy, spammy, fraudulent, catfishy type behavior, illegal businesses, i.e. Secret 7S type energy with the hidden camera in somebody's home that they pay their own rent or mortgage on. That's like Secret 7S type illegal business, hidden camera energy, possibly. Or any uh, or identity theft or anything of that nature, basically. Um, that's um, basically Federal Trade Commission reporting. If you're unclear on Federal Trade Commission reporting, they have a website and you can report online through their website. And you can pull up their website and it shows you exactly everything um, you can report on, basically. But at least one of you guys in the universe, you're about to find some significant screenshots and um i'm sorry significant text messages and or group conversation or something screenshot it it sounds like probably send it to yourself or email it to yourself and then report it so you plug it in how it resonates number 50 or 20 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape form or fashion 50 or 20. those could be significant ages in your life or somebody you're connected to's life um it also could be a possible date of birth number, possible social security number, possible green card number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, 50 or 20. Focus.
A particular Scorpio's health is about to decline in a huge way. Huge. Some excessive drinking and wild sex in the past. Some older age. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So if this resonates with you, I heard um, you are a Scorpio and I heard your health is about to decline in a huge way. And for some energy sharing of the past. Not able to energy share anymore and it's taking your taking toll on you. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's, it's excessive drinking and drugs and set wild like drugs, sex and alcohol, basically in the past, like rock star wannabe energy, basically there for some, for some it's older age. And for some, it is um, some kind of excessive energy sharing. You were shared, you shared excessive energy of a person in the past. It's like you dabbled in somebody's energy. You was not supposed to, and now you're not able to. So now it's taking a physical toll on your body. So focus in this aspect, in my opinion, would be focusing on your health to bring your health back to par because it sounds like whoever the, is fitting in these categories and this resonates for you, it sounds like it's about to happen soon. So you're about to focus on your health. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. And one particular Scorpio feminine, 30 and below, tarot readers business is about to go down in a huge way. So much so she might end up quit reading. About to receive a lot of drama in her life. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. And I heard one Scorpio reader, so a fem reader, Scorpio fem reader, 30 or below. Whoever this Scorpio fem reader, 30 and below is in the universe. She could have Scorpio in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Moon, and Jupiter Jupiter charts. I heard her business is about to go down in a huge way. She's about to have a lot of drama in her personal life. So I don't know if it's drama from the people, her clients, or drama just in her personal life. But somehow it's about to make her business go down. For some, it could be a combination of both. But somehow it's going to make her business go down in a huge way. I heard so bad that she might end up quit re quitting readings. So you plug it in how it resonates. So focus in this aspect would be her trying to focus on getting her business back up. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Renewal. A particular Scorpio is about to try to rekindle a relationship with a Sagittarius. For some, it's a former lover. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a former co-worker, but it's probably not going to work. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, um, Scorpio, I heard you're going to try to rekindle a former relationship of someone in your past. A lot of past energy in here. For some of you guys, it's a, a family member. For some, it's a past lover. And for some, it's a former co-worker. But I heard it's not probably not going to work. Know this. So um, you want to renew and rekindle this relationship with either your family member, uh, with your Sag family member, Sag past lover, or Sag um, former co-worker, but I heard it's probably not going to work. It might work for some of you guys, and you might have a renewal and reconciliation, but I heard for a lot of you guys, it's probably not going to work. So just a heads up on that, if that resonates for you. A particular Scorpio is about to deal with Child Protective Services in a huge way. They do not want to, but it is important. Major lies of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. And the truth is going to come out. Some of these Scorpios are going to help it come out. Some... Do not want it to come out, but it's going to come out anyways. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So, Child Protective Service energy here, if this resonates for you, one of you guys, it sounds like you, in the universe at least, is going to deal with Child Protective Services. So, either you have a child or you have custody of a child um, in some shape, form, or fashion, or you're dealing with somebody. 
uh, a child in some shape, form, or fashion, however that resonates. But some kind of child protective service energy, however, if it's your child or you have custody of the child or you're just dealing with this child in some shape, form, or fashion, but child protective service energy about to cycle around for at least one of you guys in the universe. I heard for some of you guys, um, you're not going to want to deal with them. You're not going to want to deal with child protective services, but... And I heard some Scorpios in this situation is going to try to basically hide the information, but it's going to come out anyways. But some of you guys are going to be truthful and bring the information out. So, you you know, everybody's different. Everybody has free will. So whether you only know your story, whether you're going to be truthful to Child Protective Services or whether you're going to try to hide and lie on the information. But if you're going to try to hide, hide and lie on the information, I heard it's going to come out anyways, whether you want it to or not. So maybe that's a little helpful heads up for somebody because it's never... It's never useful to lie because the truth always comes out. Now, it might take a year to come out. It might take two years to come out. It might take five years to come out, but it always comes out. So lying never helps anything. And that's just the truth. I feel like maybe somebody might need to hear this. For some, it's regarding a hidden camera in a family's home in the past. For some, it's regarding an overdose of a child. Okay, I heard for some it's regarding a hidden camera in a family's uh, house in the past, and some it's regarding a child overdose. So I'm assuming that's the child protective energy, child protective services energy. For some, you could be the Scorpio um, social worker, possibly. For some, possibly. Um, but the child protective services calls or investigation or what have you sounds like it's, um, for some it is, regarding a child overdose in some shape, form, or fashion, and some it's regarding a hidden camera in a family's home in the past. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped for real, for real, for real. A younger Scorpio, 35 and below, masculine energy, is about to meet the love of his life. Some is a homosexual relationship. Some is a heterosexual relationship. On the same level, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and sexually. And they do not want to use you. Well, well that's beautiful. Holy crap. Well, that's okay. 35 and below Scorpio masculine energy, whoever you are. You go through bad self. Um, you're 35 and below masculine Scorpio energy. Single single is what i heard and you're single so you're single as a pringle kudos to the single and pringle energies just saying just saying i get it um but i heard you're about to meet the love of your life for some of you guys it's, it's homosexual relationship so masculine to masculine for some it's heterosexual masculine to femme i heard the person does not want to use you so they do not want to be an energy vampire to you they do not want to steal money from you steal time from you or steal energy from you they truly just want to be with you because they care about you and they like being around you. And I heard you're on the same level with them mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and sexually. And trust me, all those things matter. So that is freaking awesome for a healthy relationship. Those things matter. So that's awesome. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.